Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be doing something very different. Uh, I'm still going to do movie uploads, of course, because this is mainly a movie channel, but I will shift to music, do maybe once a one a month, but I want to look at a collection I have, and I've been trying to collect all of this artist's CDs. Um, yes, I do collect CDs, if you're wondering. Uh, but you probably are not surprised, but it's David Bowie. I absolutely love the man's work. Um, he's behind the Beatles in terms of my favorite artists of all time. So I do have six of his CDs. One is a compilation, and... I have I own five albums, so I'm just gonna get to the compilation right now. So the compilation, uh, this is not this is definitely not my favorite compilation uh, ever because it omits some of his greatest tracks and it puts some tracks that I would not even include on here, like. So the album, or the compilation, shall I say, is Best of Bowie. I would give this an 8 out of 5 in terms of compilation. I don't love it. Like, I love a lot of the songs on here. Most of them are ten of, 10s out of 10s, like Space Oddity, Changes, Separate Jet City, Ziggy Stardust, Jean Genie, Rebel Rebel, Young Americans Fame, Golden Years, which is one of my personal favorites, Heroes, Ashes to Ashes, Fashion. I don't love the, the song a lot but i do love the song under pressure is one that ha i thought was over really overrated but then when i now that i think about it it's one of the best uh duets or like solo artists in a band because it's with queen let's dance is a pretty good song uh china girl yeah modern love is really energetic and has grown on me blue jean i like that song i don't love it though dancing in the street and This Is Not America should have been omitted from this because they did not put Starman and um, Life on Mars, the two of my favorite Bowie tracks of all time, and they didn't put it. And I'm kind of annoyed that they put the uh, what's it, the radio edits of the songs because it's kind of like I want to hear the full song, not the just the um, radio edits. But, you know, it's it's an 8 out of 5, uh, 8.5 on 10. I, I like some of the songs. I, I do love most of, like, the 70s and 80s stuff. But when you get to tonight, it's kind of like, eh, that era. Was, eh. So that is Best of Bowie. So, I don't know. So for these five studio albums right here, Oh, I just showcased them, but, um, so, should I go chronologically or the most obvious one that I would own? So I'm going to go with the most obvious one that I would own, but it's not my favorite album that he's ever done. It's number two, actually, and that is The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it has a very long title, so it's very easy for me to forget what the title of this album is. I call it just Ziggy Stardust. And, okay, hang on to yourself. Well, let's just get through the tracks on here. Because, like, I love a lot of the tracks on this album. Actually, I love all of them. I don't, like, there's some songs that I love more than others. I think that side one is better than side two. Because it opens with one of my favorite Bowie tracks. Like, top 50 for me. Everyone says it's, like, top 10 for them. But it's not my favorite. And that was five years. I don't know, I, I really like, I love this song, but I don't love it as much as other people. Soul Love, I've always been on the fence about if it's like a 10 out of 10 or a 9 on 10. Moon Age Daydream and Starman, I loved it from first listen. Um, it ain't easy. The first time I listened to that song, it got stuck in my head. I didn't like it, but it got stuck in my head and then I started loving the song. Same thing with Lady Stardust. I absolutely, I did not like it on the first listen, but now I love it. Star, it took me another listen to really appreciate. Same thing with Hang On To Yourself, which is my least favorite track on the album. Ziggy Stardust, Suffragette City, and my favorite song on the album, Rock and Wolf Suicide, are both, uh, all three of them are excellent songs. I think Ronson, the guitarist, Mick Ronson, he is 
an excellent guitar player, and uh, Trevor Boulder and Nick Woodmancy. I've never been able to pronounce that name. They're all great at what they do on this album. I think Ronson's one of the most underrated guitar players ever, and I think this is the most essential Bowie album of all time. I don't own my favorite, which is Station to Station, but I will try to, if I find it, I'll get it for sure. Same thing with The Man Who Sold the World. Um, what else? A lot insane. Uh, Diamond Dogs and Young Americans. And Low. I can't forget about that. That album. So, this is probably, I think this is my most recent album I uh, got. And that is Let's Dance. I don't love this album. I think it's a really good album, but I don't love it. And some of the songs are like great songs, but I don't love them. Now I think about it, I think I like Shake It More, which is the last track on the album. Like I said, because I talked about it, uh, the, some of the songs mostly on the Greatest Hits album. But Modern Love is so energetic. I absolutely love it. China Girl, really do love that song. And same thing with Let's Dance. Without You and Ricochet are, and Criminal World are all kind of forgettable songs for me. Because, um, I don't know, I only remember like five out of the eight songs on this album. So, in terms of what I remember, I like the songs, but I don't love them. And actually, they're like my least favorite songs on the album. And Cat People, I, I do love that song a lot. And Shake It is very catchy. And yeah, I would give this an 8 on 10. I forgot to rate Ziggy Stardust. Uh, that's this is a ten out of ten. This is an amazing album. Highly recommend it uh, for those who are trying to get into David Bowie. So, yeah, this is an eight out of ten. I don't love it. Like some people love this album, I don't. So, yeah, that's that's Let's Dance. So I have three albums left. So I'm gonna go with this one. And, and that is Hunky Dory. I love this album a lot. This is my third favorite. This is just behind uh, Ziggy Stardust. This album is phenomenal. I, I think it's like David Bowie's first amazing album for me. I, as much as I do love The Man Who Sold the World. I don't know. Changes is a classic. I don't know why, but I did not like this song at all on first listen. I thought it was pretty boring. Oh, you pretty things! Once you get into the chorus, you, I, uh, I absolutely love it. And then Eight Line Poem is good. It's kind of forgettable though. Yeah, Life on Mars. One of the greatest Bowie songs of all time. Kooks, I do love that song quite a lot. And Quicksand, I do like a lot too. Uh, Fill Your Heart, I do like that song. Uh, I don't love it. Uh, Andy Warhol, I don't know. I, I It's actually my least favorite song on the album. Uh, uh, I, I never loved the song for Bob Dylan until I listened to it again. And then I'm not... So swearing sorry my dog is barking he like does that in all the videos but <laughs> i'm not swearing when i say this okay this is the song title it's called queen bitch it's a phenomenal song and the final song is the boule brothers which i do kind of need to listen to uh, more so that is hunky dory that is a 10 out of 10 for sure did that Now, the next two are the two albums from the Berlin Trilogy. So, you probably, if you know your Bowie material, then you probably know which two I own. And I'll start with this one. And that is... Heroes. I don't love this as much as other people do. Other people say it's like the greatest album of the Berlin Trilogy. While it has some of the greatest songs of the Berlin Trilogy, I don't think it's the best. I think it's actually the worst. And... It's actually a 9 out of 10. It's a really good album. 
My favorites are Beauty and the Beast Heroes and V2 Schneider. I also like Joe the Lion and, uh, what else? Yeah, Joe the Lion, that's pretty much it. But <laughs> the rest is, uh, I mean, Songs of the Silent Age and Blackout, Blackout, and um, the instrument, well, Sense of Doubt, the inst one of the instrumentals, I remember not liking that song uh, until, like, the end. Moss Garden, and the so the instrumentals are, like, ambient pieces, and I don't know, they're kind of forgettable. I think that Low has the more um, memorable pieces of the ambient music, like Warzawa, um, what else? A new, uh, I think that's what's called a new career in a new town. I do love that song, and, and it, I love that piece. Uh, yeah. So let me go through the track listing. So, Beauty and the Beast is an excellent opener. I really do love that song. Joe the Lion, uh, not as amazing, but it's still a really good song. Now, Heroes is probably Bowie's greatest performance of all, of all of the songs. That he's ever done that is his greatest it's not my favorite but it's his greatest song for sure and performance sons of the silent age and blackout i think i prefer sons of the silent age uh instead of blackout which blackout is my least favorite like uh vocal like the songs with vocals uh not non-instrumental uh on this album v2 schneider it is my favorite instrumental on this album and for sure top three uh bowie instrumentals of all time it is it's number three though so because warzawa and speed of life beat it uh, which both of them are on the low album sense of doubt is my least favorite track on the album uh moss garden and i don't know how you pronounce that name nukol i sorry i butchered the title but they're okay they're pretty good uh, the Secret Life of Arabia is a good closer. I don't, so overall, I would give it like an 8.59 out of 10. It's not as great as other people say, but if I give it a more listens, then I'm probably going to give this a 10 out of 10, hopefully in the future. So, I think I love this album way more than people love this album. Uh, for a lot of people, it's their least favorite out of the Berlin Trilogy, but for me, it's my favorite, and that is Lodger. Um, yeah, so I love this fold-out right here. Great. Um, yeah, this, this album, I don't think it shows the track listing, but if I get the CD out, I could read it. Uh, so, the first, I know, like, the first song on the album is fantastic voyage that is a fantastic song um african night flight is kind of like a rap song but in the 70s and i really love it move on is my least favorite song on the album yes assassin or yes assassin a lot of people love the song but i don't i would actually give it like a, a nine so i kind of like love the song but red sails is not as good as the other song that begins with red Okay, so si the the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth uh, Bowie songs, uh, the, the songs on the album, are three of my favorite songs that he's ever done. Uh, like eight, the the eighth song on the album is my favorite song from him ever. Uh, so s number six is DJ, which the first time I listened to, it, I was kind of like turned off a bit, but then I re-listened to it and I absolutely loved it. Look back in anger. Terrific song. Uh, it's really underrated. And number eight, which is my favorite Bowie song on this album, and of all time, is Blaze Keep Swing. It is a very, very, very good song. 11 out of 10, that song, actually. Repetition. I kind of forgot about that song. So I don't know what to say about it. But the, the last song on this uh, album has grown on me a lot. And I'm just going to close it because I know the name of the song. It's called Red Money. It actually has grown to be one of my favorite songs off this album. So I would give this a 10 out of 10. Honestly. It is a very, 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 very strong album. And is my favorite out of the Berlin Trilogy. Which a lot of people go with lower heroes and put this at the bottom. And then the, this 
album has instrumental or ambient pieces, which is a bit different from the other two. So I'm just gonna put like a let's let's make a thumbnail of this. There we go. So if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, I don't really care. You can dislike it. So I hope you enjoyed and it would really help if you subscribe and like this video. If it does well, I can do another uh, music video. Bye.